Hello friendships and welcome to a new video. This video is going to be all about the Bubble Tea Factory. What exactly is the Bubble Tea Factory? The first of its kind in Singapore, the Bubble Tea Factory is an immersive multi-sensory journey that takes you through an enchanting world of bubble tea. Spanning across more than 10 playful, visually spectacular installations, you will be treated to an experience like no other. Okay. TLDR is just a bubble tea related place that people go to to take cute Instagram photos. That's it. I went to visit the Bubble Tea Factory with two of my best friends, Monica and Claudette. We actually went on the first ever day that it's open to the public and I just wanted to share our experience with you guys so that you can make like a more informed decision of whether you should actually visit the place or not. The Bubble Tea Factory is located in Scape, which should be familiar to most young people here in Singapore. Before we actually managed to enter the place, we had to wait three hours in line. Bitch, as you can imagine, that was a tough one. Honestly, it was not worth it. Like, okay, whatever. Uh, Spoiler! You can spend as much time as you want inside the place but you will feel really guilty for spending too much time because you know for a fact that the queue outside is going to be long. Don't live that life, don't be selfish, bitch what the fuck? Ticket prices! Since I went on the first day, I didn't have to pay for tickets because like the first thousand people to enter are free but if you want to go there yourself, on the weekdays, ticket prices for one person is $24. Okay, for weekends and public holidays, it's $28. Is it worth it? Mm, I don't know, bitch. They even give you cute stuff like these, like they're pastel themed. Some of them are like challenge cards and some of them are like collectibles. Seeing the baba and the time span. Baba, baba, baba. See, most people are just gonna come here for like the Instagram photo. Singaporeans are not that exciting. All they're gonna do is go there, turn up, and try to take cute photos. That's it. We're pretty basic. But I do appreciate the effort of trying to make the place like more immersive. The first part that you enter is like the bubble tea factory experience. Honestly, this place is not exciting. It's basically just like a carousel of balls. And the next part is the enchanted forest. And honestly, this place is just like green and black. I don't remember much about it. It's just like, oh look, how exciting. And the first actual cute place that you visit is the Blue Coral U Tapioca. My most favorite group photo with my best friends actually came from this place because it's super cute. They have like all these upside down bubble tea that has like balls flying all around. Who doesn't like balls flying all around? They even have like challenges that you can do in this place. So I attempted to do a handstand and that didn't really work out because bitch, I'm not that athletic. Do I look like fucking Simone Biles? No, I don't, bitch. After after that, we decided to crawl down this like tunnel looking thing and enter like this place filled with like hanging down balls, like super small pearls. I don't know what they are, okay? It's like this silver themed looking whatever nonsense. It's kind of cute, but it's not bubble tea themed. I don't get it. The next part is the boba lab. Now this is where you would find like all the popular Instagram spots. Yeah, this thing called the boba jetchen, which is where I got my favorite Instagram shot. It's kind of cute. It's like you're overdosing in bubble tea and like, okay, sure, ha ha ha, look at this, blah blah blah. And also like a quick note on the boba jetchen, like the entire place has like a bluish light tint to it, I actually had to edit my photo to make it look more pastel and more of like my aesthetic. The next part is terribly wrecked. Bitch, honestly, you should just call it like a Miley Cyrus wrecking ball because that's what it's for. They actually change like the top and the bottom part so you don't get to swing. All you get to do is just sit there. Hopefully you don't roll around too much such that your back is facing the camera. It's a cute photo spot but honestly, it looks more like a purple ball versus like a tarot pearl. Then they have this thing called an extra extra large bubble tea. I don't really know what to think about this place. All I did was go inside and hopefully look like a snack that you want to suck out of a bubble tea cup. And then the next part is smells like tea spirit. Basically, it just like smells stuff. This is how, you know, they're trying to make it like an immersive experience. But honestly, like, it's not that exciting. You just smell shit. I can't even talk about it because all you do is literally like... Like, oh, it smells good. Like, the next zone is called The Secret. And here they have like the boba ball in zone. They basically have a toilet seat and a bathtub and like money strewn around all over the place and you're basically supposed to throw the money up in the air and try to look like you know you're balling with bubble tea or something like that the entire thing is basically like not even bubble tea themed it just has the word boba in neon lights did i have fun getting inside the place yes i did because who wouldn't want to get into a bathtub and throw money all around most of us poor ass bitches will never have this kind of experience in our life so for them to provide this for all of us like basic normal human beings like Thank you. Now the next part is the pearl duction line. It has like a few 
things. There's this wall called the what's your personality. There are three different personalities that you can enter. The middle part is the correct answer because it takes you to like the photo taking zone. This entire room, then they have like things like all over the floor. So I went to ask like the person like, um, so what's this place? Oh, it's just confetti and you're supposed to throw it in the air. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay sure. Then the next part is the taro pearl pit, a mini ball pit, purple colored balls, supposed to be taro pearls and you just kind of sink inside it. Bitch the fuck? What's the point? I don't understand. The balls don't even look like taro pearls. They just look like purple balls. I thought taro pearls are supposed to be like cube shaped. Am I wrong? Am I stupid? I don't understand it, but it's a ball pit that goes up to your knees. Did I have fun? Yes. A little bit. They've tried really hard to push this as a bubble tea experience. Then after that, they have this like, I think it's called Ode to My Pearl. This gigantic bubble tea bitch that's on a seesaw that doesn't go up or down. She's basically just like up. So now people will think that you're heavier than a fucking bubble tea mascot. Like the fuck bitch, are you trying to attack me for my choices of eating too much bubble tea? Are you trying to tell me that I am so heavy, that I am so fat from drinking all this bubble tea that I am heavier than your fucking co- <laughs> And after that, you get to the drinks collection part, which they give you like free bubble tea. You have to use your card to redeem your bubble tea. And honestly, it's just like pearl, brown sugar, and milk. It's not amazing, but it's free. So yes, you just take it. After that, you go to the final place, which is called the Milk Tea Way, which is like just a place where they sell all the merch. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Like what the bubble tea factory is all about. My verdict on the place is that honestly speaking it's not worth your money like don't get me wrong like sure it's an interesting concept but for you to pay 28 dollars on the weekend just to go to this like place for 45 minutes to an hour it's not really worth it like me and my best friends like weren't super impressed by the place like yes they did make a ton of effort into making everything bubble tea themed they even had like bubble tea trash can it's cute but honestly Period. That's it. Unless you have like a FOMO problem, I would really recommend that you just give this place a pass. $28 is just too much for like subpar experiences. Uh, if you like what you saw, do give this video a big thumbs up because that really helps. And um, whatever, like, I don't know what these like YouTube bitches like to tell you guys. So just like, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you want to subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, you have bad taste and you're racist. That's it. Bye.